I got commissioned by New York Magazine to do what the photo editor at the time, Jody Kwan, asked me was the definitive photograph of the new High Line in New York City. So I decided, okay, I go and I scout it. I look at every rooftop imaginable. I can't get the perspective I want because the High Line is such a unique thing. If you haven't been there, you must go. You stand on it and you can at once recognize someone in the street and yet you can see people up in the windows of buildings. It has an extraordinary scale that's completely unique to itself. So I felt if I'm going to do the definitive photograph of this place, I have to somehow capture that scale. So I ended up getting a cherry picker and that's how I did it. But in coming up with the idea, I told the photo editor, I said, you know, it's really cool at lunchtime because there's so many people there, but it's like really kind of spooky at night. And literally, my wife was behind me and she heard me say this, what happens if I went north to south, day to night in one picture? And she goes, oh my God, that would be incredible. Can you do that? I said, I don't know, I can try. And that's how it happened. So that was the first one. This was the second one, uh, Washington Square Park. Times Square. So what I do, to fill you in on, on this, because I'm, I'm jumping ahead here, I photograph on average for 15 hours. I take about 1,500 photographs, sometimes 2,000, okay? And these are all specific moments. It's not a time-lapse camera running. It's me seeing very specific moments throughout the day and the night. This is what my work looks like when you get close to it. So it's micro detail. Uh, I'm shooting essentially with an 8x10 camera digitally, and in my pictures you can actually see the rotation of shadows based on time. So it's, um, the idea is to capture a single day in one photograph, to change time within a single image. And you know, it's, it's a fascinating thing because as I've evolved this process, like in this picture, it's checkerboarded time. Wherever shadow is, it's night. Wherever sunlight hits, it's day. My, what I call my time vector changes depending on the picture. 